Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to the beautiful Thorpe Ness for this course vlog series where we talk through all your options and lots of different shots and other things whilst on the golf course. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, uh -huh, that like button, and please comment below on everything that you see in today's video. And today's video is all about playing out a thick rough from around the greens and on the fairway. And it is a perfect morning. So it's just, it's just getting to about eight o'clock. I'm on the, I'm well into my back nine and it's a, it's a par three. It's a chance for holding one. I'm not going to wittingly play out the rough on this one. I'm going to go. Come on. This is where my tee shot ended up, playing one of the John Rahm's balls here. Uh, in this kind of heathery, grassy, thick stuff, just to the side of the green, not a long hole this one, only about 320 yards. So I'm by the green, I'm only, what, kind of 40 yards away from the pin here, and I want to be landing this about 30, so it's a short pitch. Now the way I'm going to be playing this shot is I want this ball to get up and out this line nice and quickly and therefore I'm going to be using my 60 degree. I'm going to be using a lot of the similar kind of traits that I would do with a bunker shot here because I want this club to be working underneath the ball and popping it up into the air. With this type of shot I don't want to be getting this ball at the back of my stance and hitting down and hitting it low. I want this to be nice and floaty. Now the key here is to maintain loft so to keep that loft coming through impact, but also to maintain speed, because I need to be getting this ball up and high. I don't want to be quitting and allowing this club face to roll shut. So I'm going to open up my club face a little bit, then take my grip. And as I actually use my swing, I'm going to be keeping my club face open. A great little tip for this, by the way, just generally to keep your club face open throughout the swing, is to open up the club face, take the grip, take it away, get the club face pointing at you on the way back, and then get the club face pointing back at you on the way through. That's going to be able to maintain its open relationship to path and to the ball at the swing. So ball position here, even though the rough is thick, I can sense that there's a bit of room underneath it. So the ball position, I'm going to put just forward of center in my stance. I'm going to open up my body because my club face is open as well. I'm going to put a little bit of weight on that left side, not low, so I don't want to go straight underneath this ball, but just a touch. I'm going to be opening up that club face keeping that club face open, maintaining my speed as I come through and trying to get that ball popping up and high towards your target. Now this is thick rough. So I've basically dropped a ball just on my way to the fairway where hopefully my other ball is sitting. And this is like proper, proper thick. So the changes that I'm gonna be making within my stance and with my setup here, very simple. I've got a lofted club because I just wanna make sure that I get it out, so a 54 degree wedge. I'm gonna put the ball position back in my stance. I'm gonna have a very quick wrist hinge going back and then literally just try and hammer down onto the back of the ball. And out of that kind of lie, that's all I can do. Well, almost in the fairway, not quite. So something I see with a lot of players is when they do get in that thick rough, not taking the medicine and actually understanding, you know what, I'm in the thick rough, the priority here is to get it out. So so many players will be 150 yards away in that deep stuff and be like, ah, I'll get my eight iron on it, I'll try and get it on the green. Just wedge out because you don't want to be in that rough for another shot. 
look for the option where you're going to be able to get it out of the rough get it back into play and you're not going to have to deal with it on your following shot the other thing that you need to bear in mind is strength so someone like uh, brooks kepka who you saw at the pga at beth page he dominated that because even when he was offline, even when he was in trouble, he had the power to be able to shift it out of some really funky lie. So that's the next thing to consider. If you don't have that strength, again, look for that safe option. Right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, thank you very much for coming down. Please subscribe if you found it useful. And if you are a returning watcher, please subscribe as well. Follow me on my other social media platforms, which are all linked in the description below, as is everything for Thorpe Ness as well. So guys, just want to say thank you once more. Thank you, thank you. So many thank yous. And we'll see you next time.